Hello, my name is Harry Lightfoot from Burfon International and today we are looking around this 2012 Discovery 55 Merlin 3. Merlin 3 has been owned since new and the owner made sure at the time of build to have a very high spec and since then she has sailed in the Caribbean, east coast of the, of the US and around the UK and she is now in Portland ready for sale. She was out of the water a few months ago and had a new copper coat antifoul done. She's got this really nice easy access, the ladders on either side to get on board. Making her way forward, she has the classic Discovery 55 rig set up. So you've got a big forward large Genoa that comes right back and then your inner forestay of a self-tacking jib. All lines for these boats lead into the cockpit, so never any need to go up forward. Big forward locker as well for all the fenders and extra sails. Just having a look at, down at that deck. She's got two spinnaker poles, again for going downwind. Just in front of the mast there is your self-tacking track. And you can see the lines on the coach roof going back into the cockpit. She has a new main sail in 2021 from Hood Sails. And the both Jib and Genoa are made from Hood as well. Along the side here you have your gas locker and another storage locker. Really nice size spray hood. You have binami that covers the whole cockpit. Aft you've got your barbecue on the port side. Easy access to the life raft. And then electric davits with dinghy and outboard attached. You have a really clever system with the main sheet track which is completely out of the way of the cockpit. And you've got your four main primary winches, all nice and electric, and a Raymarine hybrid touch, and the famous Discovery 55 hot tub. Again, all lines lead into the cockpit, so you have no need in any weather, and these boats have sailed easily with one or two people. As we make our way down into the really nice, bright, light saloon, you can see Merlin 3 has the two opening hatches forward. She also has full tropical air conditioning and full heating. Going down into the galley, she's got a full size fridge and separate freezer, four burner cooker, gas hob, really good amount of space, clever storage for your cups. And into the aft cabin, along with the air conditioning, you've got fans above each bed. Again, the aft cabin is really nice and light and airy with access to good ventilation. Just as well as the aft cabin, you've got your ensuite heads with access to the engine room. The engine has been serviced yearly and was last done in November 22. She has a sea fresh water maker that produces 102 litres per hour. Again, this access to that engine is really good on these discoveries. Making your way back into the main master cabin, just to give you a nice, good example of that natural light, easy access on each side of the bed. Getting back into the linear galley, she's got twin sinks plus draining, access up to the cockpit as well through the window, so you can get your cups of teas up there. I mean, look at that raised saloon, really comfortable seating for at least six to eight people. Another big benefit of these discoveries is the raised chart table. All you need in any weather to control and see where you're going in the boat. Nice sized pilot's berth just on your starboard side. And as we make our way forward, she's got a good access to your guest cabin forward. As well as twin bunks. Again, clever amounts of hanging storage in each cabin plenty of space to store goods for your world travels. And on the starboard side, you've got a guest head, again with electric loo and walk-in shower. She has lithium iron batteries, that are placed as new as an upgrade, plus many other features. The owner really did carefully pick this boat to suit his needs, and now to suit another owner's needs of world sailing. 
And so we just have one pan around again, looking at those big, large saloon windows and raised seating.